What's up guys, Adrian here. Welcome to episode 20, my monthly series where I present to you my top three dividend stock picks of the month that are designed for income and where I'll give you a brief overview of the overall stock market in the last month. So if you're new to the channel, welcome guys. This channel focuses on a long-term buy and hold income in income oriented or income focused investing strategy so the primary objective of this strategy of course is to generate relatively high safe and consistent passive income forever so we achieve that goal by investing in funds that primarily hold blue chip stocks guys very safe companies and that use income enhancing strategies like leverage like covered calls of course to achieve that high yield so this strategy enabled my wife and i to become financially free or financially independent in our mid 30s by December 2019 by having about 600,000 invested in this strategy uh, most, of, most of that 600k did come from our paid off condo that we sold so this channel is simply to show you guys how to invest like us for maximum passive income to really achieve financial independence as quickly as possible so I'm Canadian guys so most of the stocks most of the funds that I talk about on this channel are listed on the Canadian stock market on the TS uh, but since I invest very heavily in the U.S. or on the U.S. stock market in uh, for our RSP accounts, for our retirement accounts, uh, I'll, I'll always include one out of the three stock picks, which is going to be on the U.S. stock market. So don't forget, as Canadians, if you like my U.S. listed stock pick, you could avoid the 15% withholding tax uh, on the dividends or distribution from a U.S. fund by keeping it in your RRSP account. Also, guys, don't forget, check out my previous monthly stock pick videos in case you're new or you miss them because many of them are still very good picks uh, this month and recently. So I have a specific YouTube playlist, guys, on all my stock picks of the month videos. So it's very easy to find them. I have a bunch of other playlists as well in case you want to explore my channel or are new to my channel, including a playlist on my uh, for videos relating to my investing strategy, philosophy, and opinions. I also have another playlist which holds the uh, my most popular videos, which is my portfolio unveil videos, where I show you guys my portfolio from A to Z. As you well know, if you've already been a long-time subscriber, I'm a complete open book on this channel. So in terms of the stock market, stock market, guys, what can I say? It's still on fire, right? Some companies started reporting their quarterly results because it's results season and they've been pretty good, right? Google, Microsoft beating records or shattering records. Suncor had a good quarter. Um, Apple, Amazon, not so great, but whatever. It can't all be perfect, right? So energy, don't forget, is very big in Canada. We have a lot of uh, oil, natural resources. So the Canadian dollar gets stronger as oil goes up. It helps boost the Canadian stock market overall. Uh, even gold and gold producers recovered a little bit in the last month. So in short, guys, inflation is taking place. So yes, ba basic essentials are getting more expensive, especially gas, right? Gasoline is the first thing uh, we noticed. So many people see inflation as a bad thing. They're worried about it. They're scared of it. I get many, many questions, concerns about inflation. It makes me cringe sometimes, to be honest, because guess what the number one way uh, to hedge or to beat inflation is? It's to own assets, guys. Owning the stocks from all over the world, right? So translation, owning a piece of the best companies all over the world, owning a ownership percentage. So another way to hedge against inflation, guys, own some fixed income securities like bank loans, which we will see in my very first pick of the month this month. Um, owning real estate, of course, which you don't need to buy a house or buy a condo. You could invest in real estate via the stock market. Now it's very easy to do so. That's what I do. I rent. I don't own anything in terms of real estate. So I own real estate via the stock market and let's not forget of course gold and gold uh, gold exposure in general and also just because I own uh, many funds or mostly what I own is covered call funds doesn't mean that it's a bad strategy against inflation or it doesn't work against inflation so don't forget that I own the same thing as a passive growth investor who basically holds uh, the basic and popular index funds from Vanguard or iShares. The only difference between us is that we get our returns in a different way. I get it via my consistent income and they get it via capital 
appreciation over time primarily right so if you haven't seen my inflation video by the way and you're concerned about it make sure to check it out because i go into detail on how to hedge against inflation by going over a really good article on investopedia so trying to pick the best funds that have the best value has definitely been a challenge lately for me, uh, especially this month because everything is doing well, right? So in case you missed my last video, I actually discuss in that video uh, the factors that help me decide or help me choose what I'm investing in next, right? So as a consistent investor who invests regularly, who invests monthly, I always try to look for the best deals out there in any given month. So what helps me decide? Well, three factors which I discuss in the video, so make sure to check it out. Is it always straightforward? No, of course not, especially now when markets are high and there's new records. So we gotta look a bit harder, guys, to try to find deals. But don't worry, I got you covered and will continue to have you covered every single month. So of course, the four criterias always for my stock picks. Number one, I own the fund myself or plan on owning it in the near future because I talk the talk and walk the walk. Number two, the fund must provide a consistent source of passive income, so a dividend or a distribution. Don't forget that this is the passive income investing channel, so it's an income-oriented strategy. Number three, the dividend or distribution must be relatively safe and sustainable. And number four, the fund needs to have good value. So without further ado, let's check out my three stock picks for the month of November 2021. All right, guys, pick number one is the Guggenheim Strategic Opportunities Fund. This is uh, my U.S. listed um, pick, of course. So the stock symbol is GOF or G-O-F. Fund manager Guggenheim, the dividend or distribution is monthly. The annual dividend is currently $2.18, almost 19 cents a share. So uh, what is this fund? Well, Golf is a leverage, 26% leverage, closed-end fund on the U.S. stock market that invests primarily in fixed income securities. I'll show you what it holds in detail on the next slide. So the current NAV is 1682. So it is trading at a premium because the current price is 1899. Um, but this fund, uh, I'll, I'll show it you know, in the points and reasoning, usually trades at a much higher uh, premium. That's why it's a stock pick of the month. So uh, like I mentioned, the price is $18.99, which gives you a really cool yield, guys, of 11.51%. If you would compare that to the one-year high of 2206, you would get only 9.91. So it's a pretty good price right now. The MER is 1.83, but keep in mind that includes the cost of the leverage, right? When a fund uses leverage, it borrows money. Well, that's basically where the MER fee, uh, the MER fee comes in. Um, so here is the breakdown, guys, of what this fund owns. I really, really like this fund. Uh, the, its number one holding are bank loans. So bank loans is a great way to hedge against inflation. Uh, I mentioned it or talked about it in the video uh, that I mentioned earlier. So it has a mishmash, a really, really well diversified collection of fixed income securities. So when you hear fixed income, think loans. So bank loans, corporate bonds, anything bonds is fixed income. You have ABS, um, asset backed securities, um, equity strategy. So when you see equity, that stock, so it only has 7% in uh, equity or so. Uh, preferred shares, also part of fixed income, municipal bonds, military housing bonds, uh, non-agency, uh, MBS, mortgage-backed securities, CMBS, which is commercial mortgage-backed securities. So just a huge mishmash of fixed income securities. I absolutely love this fund because of the diversification here. You have the breakdown here. So as you can see, 93%, almost 94 in fixed income. Equity, so stocks is only 5.51. So very very heavy on the fixed income so what are my points and reasoning why is this a fun a stock pick of the month well it has high and consistent monthly distributions which is always what we look for it's actually a pretty big fund guys it's over a billion dollars uh assets under management aum so that also exudes confidence it's diversified so it's a great way to really get diversified fixed income securities this fund actually recently merged with with two other guggenheim funds gpm and ggm so i think that's my what might have caused it a little dip in the last month or two which is great um, i'm not sure if that was actually a cause i'm assuming 
um, the stock price is relatively very stable. If you actually look at the stock chart, this fund was created in 2007. You can see that the stock price is relatively uh, stable compared to equities, which is stocks, right? Um, and like I mentioned before, although the fund is trading at a premium of 12%, uh, which is one of the factors I look at, look at in stock picks of the in my for my uh, to choose my stock picks of the month. It usually trades at a higher premium. I've seen this trade easily at a 20, 25% premium. So I think it, it's a pretty good deal right now at a 12% premium. It's not so bad. Um, another thing is that this fund uh, actually shows its annual returns on average on its website. I suggest you check out the website. So the annual average return of this website since inception, so since it was created, is 11% percent which is really really solid right higher than the overall stock market so that's how you know this is a really good fund and it doesn't surprise me that it consistently trades at a premium right premium means there's more demand there's very high demand for this so this is a perfect fund guys for if you're canadian to hold in your rrsp long term uh, because it's there's no 15 percent withholding tax and it's uh, very high yield and I have to give a shout out to Mr. Kenneth Reed from our Facebook group So he's been talking a lot about golf uh, Recently, so you could see the the Facebook post there. So this pick is dedicated to you my friend Pick number two Canadian stock pick now the first Canadian uh, pick is GDV the global Dividend split fund from Brompton. So manager is Brompton the dividend payout is monthly at a dollar twenty a share that's annual so it's 10 cents a month so th what is this fund well this split fund holds 30 plus global dividend growth stocks or growth companies and they enhance the yield with covered calls so the nav is 12.29 it's actually trading at a one percent discount which is amazing this fund usually trades at a premium so it's a really good time to pick this one up management fee 0.85 percent and like I mentioned, the October 28th price, 12.16. So the yield you would get if you buy this now about just under 10%. The one year high, 13.18 would give you 9.10%. So this is what this fund holds, guys. I absolutely love the diversification of this fund. I know I keep repeating myself about this fund, how the diversification is incredible, but it is. I mean, take a look at, first of all, the regional diversification, 66 United States, 20% Europe, 14% Canada, really, really good mix there. Keep in mind, you know, United States is always going to be higher because that's where the best companies in the world are from. I all, look at the sector breakdown as well. You have 21% uh, financials, a lot of tech, uh, some industrials. And this is where it gets interesting. It's rare for a split fund to have... Uh, really defensive so I really love the fact that this has a nice chunk in real estate here a uh, nice chunk in communication services which is telecom companies there's even 7.5% uh, in consumer staples materials healthcare and it's very low on energy so I love the asset mix here it's perfect for us Canadians who are usually get the biggest chunk is in financials or in energy so my key points and reasoning for this pick, guys, this is my all-time favorite split share fund of all time uh, it, because of the amazing not only sector diversification like we just saw, but the regional diversification as well. It's never missed a dividend since inception. Uh, it was created in 2018. Brompton, I trust these guys. They're a very trustworthy and experienced split fund manager. I mean, their products are very geared towards income-oriented investors, so they're covered call experts. Um, this is a perfect fund to invest in when nothing really stands out sector-wise in any given month. So a perfect time would be now because you know er every sector is doing pretty well so since this fund is already diversified it makes sense for uh, you know it's a good pick to always buy um, the nav and market price are very close it's actually trading at a one percent discount very very rare because this fund usually trades at a premium so it's a really nice time to snatch this one up it's a great deal uh, i put five thousand dollars in gdv this month so just to let you know uh, that the yield is high it's a monthly dividend monthly distribution so the yield is just under 10 percent, which is great and like i showed you before it has a lot of defensive exposure it has real estate and it's not it has consumer staples uh tech a lot of technology and it's not too heavy on the financials and it has very low energy so it's a great great fund for canadians to get exposure to those um, sectors that are usually underrepresented in our portfolio because we're very very heavy on the energy 
uh, on the financials, etc. Pick number three shouldn't be a, su a surprise to you guys. It's HDiv, so it's the enhanced. Uh, where it's the Hamilton Enhanced Multi-Sector Covered Call ETF. It's managed by Hamilton ETFs. The month, the dividend is monthly, and the current annual uh, distribution is $1.41 a share. So HDIV is basically a leveraged ETF, 25% leverage, that holds a collection of seven sector-specific covered call ETFs. Really, really awesome. Um, so the NAV is currently at 17.23. Don't forget, guys, NAV equals net asset value, right? What the fund is actually worth. And the market price uh, recently on October 28th is 17.24. So you're looking at a dividend yield of just over 8%, which is great. You compare that to the one year high, even though this fund is only a couple of months old, uh, at 17.64, you would get 7.99. So the management fee is 0.65% on this one and this is what this ETF holds guys these are the seven so it's an ETF that holds seven other ETFs on an equal weighted basis now yeah I say equal weighted but you, you might see the percentages are not equal well that's because they rebalance it every I think semi-annually or annually so of course if the NXF, which is the um, the uh, the energy ETF, is starting to go up in value. It's going to start becoming a bigger percentage. Whereas you could see gold, which is not doing that great recently, is lower end. So this it's equally weighted, um, but it's rebalanced every every year. So um, or every six months. I'm not. I can't remember which one it was. So here are the seven ETFs that this fund holds. You have NXF for energy. FLI for life insurance, ZWB for the big six Canadian banks, HTA for the best technology companies, uh, ZWU for the best utilities companies in North America, things like uh, uh, electricity, pipelines, and telecom. HHL, the best healthcare companies in the world. And of course, HEP, the best gold producers in the world. So amazing, amazing diversification with this fund, guys. So my key points and reasoning, this is a brand new genius fund for income-hungry investors, in my opinion. Think of it like I diversified all-in-one covered call solution. I absolutely love the 25% leverage, uh, which is which helps to enhance the yield. The monthly there's monthly distributions, which is always great for income investors, and uh, it had an initial yield target of 8.5%, which is pretty high. It follows a index called the Selective Multi-Sector Covered Call ETFs Index, which has beaten the overall Canadian stock market in the last five years, and that's even before leverage. So you could see all that on HDIV's website, which I strongly suggest you check out. And speaking of what I suggest you check out, I have two recent videos on HDIV that I really want you guys to watch. The first one is this one here. You see the thumbnail where I go into the fund in detail, but the second one, which is only came out a few weeks ago, is I actually sit down and meet with Robert Wessel, a founder of Hamilton ETFs, and I ask him a bunch of questions on this fund. So it's a, the first time I do an interview uh, with a legit fund manager. So I really strongly suggest you check it out, guys. This is an amazing fund. I think it's going to be a rising star in my personal portfolio, portfolio, and I strongly suggest for you guys to pick it up as well. Please hit that like button, guys. I would really appreciate it. It'll show your appreciation. It takes two seconds. It helps the channel grow. It's a win-win. Also, make sure to visit our website, passiveincomeinvesting.ca. That's where you could access a bunch of free tools and resources, as well as purchase my digital product, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package version three. So this is basically all my research into one package. It's good for Canadians. It's good for Americans. It has sample portfolios for both Canadians and Americans or people who invest on the US stock market and it comes with lifetime updates so you only have to purchase it once and you'll get the future uh, version updates which if you haven't noticed the price keeps going up with each version update because I put more time into it right so it's only fair of course I also offer on my website right there on the home page by the way a one-on-one -on -one consultation service where you could have a zoom call with me personally a one-on-one -on -one. you could ask me all the questions you want I could review your portfolio I could help you build a new portfolio transition to an income portfolio that's my specialty that's why a lot of people book the consultation they already have a portfolio or they're sitting 
sitting on a bunch of money and they want to transition to my style of investing, the income style. So whatever your needs are, guys, I do my best to help every single one of you. Um, my consultations are all sold out or the appointments are sold out for November already. Uh, so I appreciate the confidence. I'm sorry if you've been trying to book for a long time. I get emails all the time saying I, I, I always miss the up, the uh, the one-on-ones. One -on -ones. I apologize, but stay patient because I'm going to keep doing them. So I'll let you guys know when the December slots will uh, open up. Uh, of course, join us on social media. We have a Facebook group, private group that's growing. We passed 5,000 members. I absolutely love the group. Everyone's helping each other, putting their concerns or questions and uh, a bit of, you know, everyone's showing their, off their portfolio a bit. It's cool. It, we're learning. Uh, it's really, really a fun group. So make sure to join us there. We're also on Instagram. So follow us there if you use that social media platform. And don't forget, guys, my mission, the mission of this channel will always be the same. It's to help everyday working normal people uh, to invest on their own so they could build their own stream of passive income in order to enhance their quality of life and eventually become financially independent. So with that, take care, guys. I really appreciate you watching until the end. Continue to stay safe, of course, and see you next time.